Hello and welcome to Duke Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to test an EGR valve. So this is what an EGR valve typically looks like. They're usually found on the upper air intake of your engine. So the first thing we need to do is remove the EGR valve from the engine. Now we took the intake manifold off of this car so we could show it to you a little easier but you can remove the EGR valve while leaving the upper air intake on the engine. The first thing we need to do is do a visual inspection and make sure there are no cracks in the housing or holes anywhere. Next, we're going to grab a hand-operated vacuum pump and attach it to the EGR valve to see if it can hold vacuum. Now these pumps are available on Amazon from anywhere from $20 to $50 for a really nice one. If the EGR valve can hold vacuum, that means the valve is working correctly. On our example here, it holds for a little bit, but then drops off, so this is the sign of a bad EGR valve. Next, we're going to use fluid to test our EGR valve, so we're going to grab any kind of colored fluid and pour it in the top of the housing here and see if it drains through because if it drains through the jar valve is not doing its job you can use any kind of uh, colored liquid or even water uh, we're using ATF here I believe the the fluid doesn't matter so much but you see how it doesn't uh, it doesn't drop through the housing immediately that means that it, uh, when the jar valve is shut it is fully shut which is great and we can test its operation by again attaching our hand operated vacuum pump and uh, you know, putting vacuum into the system, which should open the valve, and if the valve opens, the fluid will come out the bottom like it does right here. And that's how you know that the valve is operating correctly on that side. Once we're sure of its operation, we can reattach the EGR valve. If uh, your EGR valve doesn't have a gasket like ours didn't, you can use a little bit of uh, silicone rubber around the uh, intake hole here and then bolt it back on. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com where our automotive experts are standing by to help for free.